Hey, yo, duckies, Andy Lip here, back with another stream about video. And this is something that I've been asked a lot recently. Yeah. Basically, when you're using Streamerbot, you want multiple actions to happen when you get a raid, when you get a follow, a sub, all the different Twitch events out there. And from the drop down menu, you can only select one. So, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can actually create multiple different actions to trigger on a single event. Let's just get into it, alright? Put your rock to the stone, let's go. Right, so there's no prerequisites for this or anything like that. All we need to do is have OBS and Streamerbot installed. I'm using 0.1.4, uh, the beta, but if you need to update, you'll probably see a message in the top left there. So always make sure you keep Streamerbot up to date. So as you guys know, when you go to settings and you go to your follows tab or you go in the events and look at your subs and everything like that, you can only select one event to happen or one action to happen when the follow event happens or whatever so you probably see here i'm using multiple different alert packages like the minimum alerts from stream up that we made and also the final fantasy 7 ones but then i also want to send a chat message i want a load of things to happen when somebody follows because let's face it we need to celebrate these things right uh but i want them to happen at once okay so if i go to actions tab we need to create an action to basically trigger all my other actions so i'm going to right click uh, and go to add and we're going to create a name for this. This is going to be the um, follow alert. And we're going to make a group to put all our different alerts together. So I'm going to call this Twitch events. Like that. And press OK. And just keep the... You can do a group for it as well to make sure things don't multi-trigger. But they shouldn't do. Depending on what your setup is with the queue system. So the follow alert, we need to now set this to trigger when we get a follow. So I'm going to go to back to settings, in events, go to follows, and scroll all the way down because it'll be the bottom, follow alert, and when I press test, nothing's going to happen because we've not told it to trigger anything, but it's set up, ready to go. I'm going to make sure OBS is connected. In the OBS tab, we're all good. And then now I can start playing. We've got OBS open, as you can see just here. I'm going to start adding some sub actions. So the first one that I want to add is an action because i want it to trigger one of these that i've already got for the the stream up alert so if i go down to uh, the drop down and scroll all the way down to final fantasy 7 follow for instance and press ok now when i go back to the settings tab and test the follow alert you'll see it triggers the final fantasy 7 style alerts as easy as that cool but we could have done one before anyway that's fine but say i want to send a chat message at the same time okay so you probably see if I add another action and this time go down to Twitch and go to send message to channel. I'm going to send a chat message from my bot account and just put thank you for the follow percent sign user percent sign. So I'm using some of the variables that you can see just down here. So I'm going to press OK. And then now what this is going to do is do the action for the alert and then send a message. So I'm going to go back to settings and press test follow. So if we watch the chat. It's not saying anything yet. It's doing this alert and then it's going to do the message to chat. And the reason being is because this is creating its own queue. So if we go back to the actions tab, you see it's going to complete the action and then it's going to do the message like that. But if we double click on the action to edit it, you'll see this little checkbox that says run immediately. Uh, and when we hover over it, it says running the action immediately will run it in line with the rest of the sub actions unchecking this this action will put into its own queue to be run instead so if i uncheck that and press ok it sends it to the original queue for the final fantasy 7 so only one of them can be triggered at once so now if i go to settings and press test watch the chat and watch on screen both will happen at the exact same time so they're running on their own queue systems that we've got set up for them previous actions. So now if I want to add a secondary alert, for instance, I want multiple things to happen. I can trigger another action. So if I go to add action and then add the actual action and go all the way down to minim follow. This time I'm going to uncheck the run immediately because I want it to run at the exact same time. Go back to settings and press test to follow alert. Now you'll see three things happen. We'll send a Twitch chat message. We'll have the Final Fantasy 7 alerts. And we'll also get the minimum alerts as well. 
just like so. It all happens all at the same time. So we're creating one action to trigger multiple different actions when we get to which event. We could do the exact same thing for cheers if we want to. So I'm going to go to cheers, for instance, and go back to actions. We need to set up a new action. So I'm going to right click and press add. And we're going to put cheer alert. And we're going to add it to the same group, which was the Twitch events group. Press OK. This is going to add it here. And all the sub actions we want to add. So I want to add an action. And we're going to run the Final Fantasy 7 cheer. I'm going to uncheck run immediately because I want it to run all at the same time. We're going to do add action, add the minimum alert action as well. So where is it? Cheer, there we go. And uncheck that. And I'm also wanting to send a Twitch message. We can do as many different things as we want. It's completely up to you what you want to do with this. You can just trigger multiple things with one event. So I'm going to add another uh, message and go, thank you for the um, bits. But we need to find out what the bits amount is. Um, so if I do this, I'm going to do user at the end. So it's going to be, thank you for the X amount of bits, user. So the way that we can find out what variable we can use, if we open up the uh, the actual uh, StreamerBot wiki, go down to variables, you can see all the different variables that we can use. So on events, jumping down to the bottom, you'll see we've got chat, message, and cheers. We can see bits. Uh, so the number of bits the message has, you've got everything here from the gifts, subs, and stuff like that. So... The number of bits is just bits. So to add that in, it's gonna be percent sign, bits, percent sign. So it's gonna say, thank you for the number, bits, username. I can do an exclamation mark, do whatever I want. I'm gonna send that from my bot account as well. And then now I'm gonna jump back into OBS and open up StreamerBot, go to settings. We're gonna set up the alert to be the cheer alert. So testing it once more, it all happens on screen. It looks like the alert must have just got a little bit sticky in its queue or something like that. Uh, but as you can see, if I go and test out the follow one again, all these things happen at the same time. So it's, it's an awesome little tool to trigger as many different events as you want. Remember, it doesn't have to be just a chat message or a different action. You can create multiple actions in there to do whatever you want to do all at the same time or you can do it in order if you wanted to which is pretty cool it'll open the imaginations of you hopefully and you'll be able to get something awesome set up for all your subscribers and everything like that so that's pretty much it if you guys want to support me then consider joining patreon it helps me out a ton with all these videos and moving to make content for you guys full time and also consider joining the youtube memberships down below as well all right guys make sure you do stay subscribed all that jazz put your rock in the stone i'll see you in the next one much love I just want to say a huge thanks to all my patrons that help make this content full time and make it free for you guys. And also a huge thanks to all my YouTube members. You, you guys are legends. Thank you so much for everything that you do for me and the community. Keep it up, guys.